The video I'm going to show you is happening in California, Gavin Newsom's California, the wonder governor who's going to fix everything when in reality he's nothing but a clown and an uneducated joke who wants to destroy the state of California like Joe Biden is destroying the United States of America. The man you're going to see is advocating for children and for what schools in California are doing to these children without the parents' knowledge. It's about a two-minute video, and right now it's the hottest video on the Internet because this is not only happening in California. It's happening all over the country, and people need to wake up, and parents need to step up, and go to the school committee meetings, even though Joe Biden's Department of Justice labels them as domestic terrorists. No, they're concerned parents, concer concerned about their children, and this needs to stop. So have a look at this video and leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. And this is happening all over the country. And if Democrats continue control in November, this is going to continue and our children are going to be harmed for life. The things that they're doing cannot, cannot happen. These teachers, these politicians are pushing this gender ideology on young kids. Doctors are performing life altering surgeries on young kids and the surgeries they're performing cannot be reversed and they talk about LGBTQ suicide. These teachers and politicians are the reason the suicide rate is so high in those communities because they're destroying people's lives right under the nose of parents. Thanks again and have a great day. Good evening, my name is Mario Presents and I'm here as a representative from Gays Against Groomers Coalition with over 250,000 followers across social media and as the uncle of two students in your district. It has come to our attention that the district intends to teach transgenderism to children under the age of 10 without parental consent. If I were to teach your child about my sexuality without your consent or involvement, I'd be arrested. But when the school district does it, it's education. Districts are teaching transgenderism when they should be teaching science, math, and language. Instead, teachers are hiding student pronouns from their parents under the guise of gender affirmation. Can you imagine the uproar if schools were evangelizing or baptizing children without parental consent? Isn't that sort of what you're doing? You don't tuck these children in at night. You don't teach them to stand up to bullies. You don't pay their medical bills. And you certainly don't hold their hands in the hospital. These parents do. Simple truths based in science need to be upheld for our society to flourish. The gross indoctrination we're seeing is creating a lifetime of medication and hormones because you can't simply pause puberty. Men cannot become women and sex chromosomes are encoded into the fabric of our DNA. Simply affirming a teenager's gender is akin to affirming anorexia. Both are body dysmorphic disorders, yet we don't teach the starving teenagers how to binge and purge or affirm that they are indeed overweight. However, school districts, including yours, seem to have no issue secretly teaching girls that they can be boys because they feel uncomfortable in their bodies. A grown adult woman can't get a hysterectomy without extensive medical forms and doctor's visits. But Dr. Safir over the hill in Sherman Oaks is willing to do top and bottom surgery, sterilizing children for life. Parents must be a part of the education process when teaching sexuality to students, and it definitely doesn't need to happen under the age of 10 years old.